Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. All right, so we have work through your fears, okay? It is coming out as the new moon in Scorpio. And then we have South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. So somebody is like, so what this full moon is going to be about or this super moon is going to be about is like, there's like a situation coming through where either you have been letting your fears because of something that happened in the past hold you back from something here. Um, and it's like, maybe like there's going to be fears overcome when it, you know, there's going to be releasing a fear, not letting the past release it. Maybe someone was holding on to the past out of fear. Someone's maybe going to finally be working through that fear, letting that go, not no longer letting the past hold them back. I'm going to go ahead and read what these cards say. Let's see. So we have South Node. Okay. Let's do it. Let's start with the new moon in Scorpio because I'm going to come across that sooner. All right. So it says this card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. What, whatever you've been going through or whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It, like I just said, new beginnings energy. It might be a little dark and most certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also su suggests that you know you are magical. Then this is the time to work your magic. It can also her herald the time of a sex sexier time if you've been experiencing something of drought and, emo and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into the body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes out, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. Ooh, so there could be also like a deepening of a relationship. Maybe somebody, I'm also getting this energy of like, if this is a romantic situation, which it looks like it is, um, maybe somebody was letting their past, like somebody had fears of intimacy because of something that happened in their past, but it looks like, and maybe they were just trying to have like something very surface level and superficial with you, but now they're maybe going to be working to past those fears and there could be like a deepening of a connection or somebody getting more in tune with their feelings and emotions. No longer letting that hold them back. It says there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. It says have some sexy time. Hmm. Time to let go of a grudge you're holding. Move on from jealousy. Stop being obsessive. Could it be you're being paranoid? Make an investment. Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth. Magic and shamans. Its energy is a little bit dark, occult, even scary. Not all of us like to face the shadow, but Scorpio demands it. In fact, it's through working through your dark side. That you can get to the light. And the new moon, new, new moon in Scorpio and the appearance of this card at any other time suggests you need to do that now. All right. And then we have South Node. So give me a second so I can find that. All right. It says the South Node, like the North Node, is a karmic point but it's opposite to the North Node and relates to the past, perhaps even the past lives. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating or even toxic. It suggests that someone you even needs to be released. Mm, that there's some kind of addiction going on or unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels safe, easier and safer. Somebody's being challenged to move out of their comfort zone because someone's comfort zone has, is toxic here. Something has become suffocating and someone stuck. It's keeping somebody stuck. Mm. Yeah, it says release the past. So somebody's been holding on to some type of past situation here that's been holding them back and keeping them stuck. Like it's an unhealthy attachment. It could even be addiction. Something is needing to be released. And it could be being released with this full moon. Yeah, a relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be verging on, on, be verging on the obsessive. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. The south node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going south. On the hor horoscope chart, it shows us what we are likely to become obsessed with, but which will probably do us little, little or no good. The south node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us of the well-known phrase, 
if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. So yeah, there's a need for someone to like, it's like that quote too, that says that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting just different results. So yeah, time to do something different. Something isn't working. Something it's like a, something that somebody keeps doing isn't working. So it's time to acknowledge that and start doing something differently. It's like you're not going to be able to get somebody's not going to be able to get the outcome of what they want doing what they've always done. They need to let go of something from their past. And this is apparently scary. This is scary for someone. So this is you or this is somebody in your energy. Let's take a deeper look at and see what's going on here. How does this this those cards relate to my collective? How does this relate to my collective spirit? How does this relate to my collective? What do they need to know? So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, definitely someone's stuck here and feeling stuck or trapped here. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Ace of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. The Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Oh, somebody could be like wanting to get information on you, but maybe not able to or something like that. Yeah, there could be like a block. It's like somebody is unable to see something. Either somebody has a mental block or somebody's blocked like on social media. Communication is blocked. There's there's confusion. There's stress. There's like miscommunication or like an inability to com to com um or somebody's gaining some type of knowledge here, too. That's maybe making them rethink something. Tell me about the eight of swords. The knight of wands. Huh. Somebody maybe made some type of impulsive decision that's kind of kept is making them feel like they're stuck or helpless or like they, they're powerless in a situation. Aries Leo Sag energy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like. Hmm. The page of wands. Mm, there's something here about block communication. I don't know. I feel like the communication could be blocked. Something's not moving forward. There could be emotion here. All right. There could be feelings here, but somebody something's not moving forward. The chariot. Yeah, somebody's guarded. Somebody could also be having some financial setbacks. Yeah. Something about somebody's past is maybe. Something is changing here. Something, something is changing and finally moving away from something. Hmm. So what does all this mean for my collective? What does this mean for my collective? I still don't. So we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the se ooh, Seven of Swords. And we have the Two of Wands. What's mean for my collective? We have the High Priestess, Pisces. Um... You're in some, you're, you guys can be feeling like kind of like a lack of hope when it comes to a situation or something like that. When it comes to a, a masculine energy or fe feminine, take out resonates. Something is just very one-sided. Something is one-sided. Hmm. There's was some type of deception here. Huh. Why is the seven of swords here? It's like somebody is trying is trying to strategize how to get out of a happy fam an unhappy family situation or something like that. Get out of something that's not for them, that's not in alignment with what that, that that's not where they're supposed to be, but they maybe feel stuck. Someone's releasing fear here. What does this have to do with the seven of swords? The C mm. Okay, there was some type of deception here. Somebody was not seeing something clearly. What's the Page of Cups mean for my collective? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Yeah, fear of change. Somebody wants to have a new emotional beginning with you, but they are very afraid. Yeah, they do. Ace of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups. They want to. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. What can we... Give me a better picture about what's going on here, Spirit, because it's just still very vague. 
Um, let's do some more tarot. Tell me more about what's going on here, spirit. Tell me more about what's happening here. So we have the two of swords. Someone, yeah, someone's like stuck between, yeah, indecision and choice between two stalemate. It's like somebody is having a choice between stepping into a new beginning and or leaving something from the past behind and they cannot make up their mind about it. But whatever it is from the past, the past situation is toxic. It's no longer serving them. It's they feel stuck. They feel trapped in that situation. It's toxic. Like. But it's like comfortable. It's their comfort zone, but it's like they. Yeah. Yeah. We have, we have Wheel of Fortune here again. So it says change in your love life. Fate and destiny. So tell me more. Sag and Pisces energy there. Death. Something is coming to an end. Maybe there's divine intervention. This this full moon is bringing in some type of ending because somebody was not making up their mind about something. Somebody just had a reading like this. Was it Taurus? Yeah, Taurus had a reading like this. So it could be you or your person that was refusing to let go of something that was not good for them, but they weren't even happy in this. It was toxic. It was chaotic. It was misaligned with them. Like, but they weren't letting it go because it was what they were used to. It was what they were comfortable with. Um, and they had a fear of new beginnings. They had a fear of taking a leap of faith, but it looks like possibly due to divine intervention. It's like the divine is making a decision for somebody here. So they're going to have no choice, but to something toxic is coming to an end and they're not going to have any choice about it anymore. All right. Yeah. Four of wands. It could be a marriage for some of you. What about the four of wands? The King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and we have the star. No, I feel like something has to end because there's another commitment, marriage. It's like somebody has love for you. And it's like, if this person wants to be in a, if there's ever going to be a commitment between you and this person, or there's like some type of ending that's happening that's making somebody feel more optimistic about your connection, feeling like they can actually recover this or actually give to this. That there's like some, there's an ending and then there's like a sense of hope and optimism after that. But it's like, I don't know. What does this mean for my, what's four of wands, the star and king of cups mean for my collective? Yeah. Ten of pentacles. You have a commitment coming in. Long lasting union, marriage, solid foundation. Tell me about what is ending. Tell me more about what is ending. Ah, so it was like maybe some, yeah, karmic. It was like a karmic situation where like there was supposed to be, yeah, divine lessons learned. But it says separation is necessary from that, 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 um, it was a lesson. Yeah. Five of cups. Yeah. This person was maybe still grieving that situation or sad over it or something like that. Or this is you. Tell me more. H hiding feel. Yeah. Feeling insecure fear. They have a fear of vulnerability because of something from their past. Yeah. It's made them feel very insecure. Ripped apart though. So we have, but it's like, now we have vulnerable in love. What does that have to do with anything? What is ripped apart? Love exposed the truth. Seven of C. Something was maybe exposed here. Something came to light. Some type of infidelity. Deception. What does this have to do with my collective? Six of... Yeah, somebody wants... That you were very generous and they could have had... Okay, tell me more about the Six of Pentacles for my collective. The Nine of Swords. Okay, what about that? Somebody's in regret. For juggling you, for yeah, why are they in regret now? Seven of Pentacles, I, because they're relooking, they're they're looking at things differently now, and I I think they're thinking about the long term, and I feel like they it's like yeah, cannot be trusted, but yeah, using yeah, Knight of Wands, see so yeah, I t feel like they did some. What does that do in my collective though? Clean up. They're yeah. They're cutting cutting karmic ties here. Doing the inner work. They could have been lustful in the past. Like you couldn't trust them at some point. But what does this mean for this? Whoever this is in their energy. Long wait. Yeah, putting your life on hold. It's going to take a while. Hmm. You were maybe waiting for this person at some point. Yeah. But night. It's like now all of a sudden things are speeding up here. Yeah, somebody's curious to know what's going on with you. They want to know what's going on with you. It's a sudden action arrival being swept off your feet. So 
It's like they're going to come in kind of out of the blue after walking away from something. Something, it could have been their family and their friends. For some of you, it was like their family and their friends didn't approve of this connection or they won't approve of them walking away. Hmm. It's like they want to have, yeah, passion, spark. There's a new beginning here, Ten of Cups. That's ultimate happiness and fulfillment. Walking away. What does walking away mean for this connection? Six of Wands, a victory, success. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people talking about your relationship or being nosy when it comes to your relationship. But yeah, I was actually hearing this. Yeah, remain in the darkness or embrace the light. This other situation that they've been holding on to is toxic. It's been holding them back. It's been keeping them stuck. It's dark, okay, with this karmic partner. Or it could be codependency for some of you. It doesn't even have to be like one person. It could have been like, yeah, it could have been a karmic partner, but it was something here. It was like a very codependent situation. And it was some, like, it's dark. I don't know. But yeah, there was a soul contract there, though. Like they were supposed to be in that situation for at some point to learn lessons. But now justice is being served. Balance is being restored by them walking away from a situation. Yeah, Sphere says it's time. Wow, it's time for, yeah, divine intervention. I told you. Not, no more running. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone's in, stepping into this energy of being loyal, secure, taking this more seriously. Um, yeah, divinely guided. They, they're being divinely guided here. It could be this earth sign being divinely guided to set boundaries or go like free themselves from something, be more independent. Yeah, your connection is protected. Yeah, Spear says it's time. It's time. Yeah, they can't taming a player. Like if they were a player and they were a cheater and all those things, this person is about to surrender. This is trying to resist temptation, taming a player. It's time, no more divine intervention, no more running. Feeling of oneness, surrendering. Yeah, they're surrendering to these. Yeah, manifesting you, wants you back, moving into alignment. Yeah, they're moving that, whatever that, yeah. They, they're not able to let you go. They were really resisting this change, but they're not gonna be able to let you go because they view you um, as their wish fulfillment. They know that with you, they could have, they could be happy and fulfilled. Tell me about this past situation. Give me a few more cards about the past situation, though, that they're walking away from. We have Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. And we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, they put a lot of, they were putting a lot of work and effort into this. But they, it was like they had a lot of responsibilities when it came to this past situation. They were feeling overburdened. It was like a, a big weight on their shoulder. What about the Six of Cups? What about the Six of Cups? Page of Pentacles. What does it have to do with six of Page of Pentacles and Six of Cups? Page of Wands. Okay. Money focused. Oh. What does this have to do with this person? Yeah, no close. So there what does it have to do with this page of swords? Huh. Money over love. They maybe chose this other situation because of stability and money. What is all this page energy? There's so many pages here. Maybe children were involved. Yeah. Healing, accepting to grow, self-care, healthy choices. Yeah. So what does that mean for this past situation? Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're setting boundaries with somebody. Or they're setting boundaries in a situation because they feel this connection with you. They don't want to miss this opportunity. They want to progress. Yeah, they want to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, there's love there. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just said, what does this mean for my collective? We have the Ace of Cups and we have the Empress, Taurus Energy. It says new love, beginnings, overwhelming emotion, divine feminine vibration of love. So yeah, High Priestess, yeah. Mm. They're overcoming something, guys. They're, they're finally overcoming something, freeing themselves from something. If it was like a codependent, if they were dependent on somebody, they're freeing themselves. They're finding their independence. All right, let's get some more cards to see what, more of what's going on here. We have breaking, I'm telling you, breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Mm -hmm. They're breaking free.
Yep. Yeah, it's something, it could be even family for some of you or some type of ancestral karma or something like that. They're clean, clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through generations. Don't rush the journey. We have, yeah, old wounds. Okay, so there's going to be ancestral karma released with this full moon, um, releasing themselves from self-imposed prisons and um, releasing situations that have kept them from getting into alignment or keeping you guys from getting into alignment. Um, people are also releasing old wounds. Yeah, past heartbreaks and stuff like that. It says their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. We have missing you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. I did see that energy. But it's like they're going to get like a renewed hope, though. They, they were a little bit pessimistic, but I see them getting a renewed hope. We have a leap of faith. Yeah. Then I think I said that earlier. Some fears was keeping somebody from taking a leap of faith. They let their past, their ancestral karma, their old wounds, um, whatever, childhood wounds, family, whatever it was, self-imposed prisons, keep them from keeping taking this leap of faith. But it says they did not expect this love to run this deep. They are putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. We have the witch. It's something here that's, this already came out because with that Scorpio energy, that new moon in Scorpio, some of you guys are manifesting this. This keeps coming out in the collective readings. You guys are manifesting this. Mm hmm They see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a, a love spell. So some of you guys are Scorpios, have Scorpio placements, could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this is something that you guys are manifesting. Some of you guys are utilizing spell work. If not, you're just manifesting this, setting intentions, whatever. You're praying for things to be able to work out with this person, for them to break free from something, whatever it is. It's working. Okay? It's working. We have uprooting. I'm telling you. Wow. This is such a, this is powerful, guys. Wow. They're leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. Wow. We have haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with somebody else. Hmm. Yeah. Unspoken love. They've been, they've been carrying a torch for you all alone, but unable to confess their love due to fear of rejection. Yeah, didn't I say they're trying to get information on you? They are secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. If they're not asking friends, then they're just, they're spying on you. They're watching you. Yeah, the unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. So this person has also had fears that you were, like, that they saw, like, they, th they felt like you were very abundant. They knew that you could probably be really good for them, right? But they, they didn't trust it, all right? They felt like they were being deceived in some way. Um, yeah. And I feel like they regret this. They're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. All right. One more. Yeah. They're in this kind of in this, they've been in this past pessimistic energy, like not knowing if they can actually make this fix this, but it says past life, their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. Yeah. Coming apart, meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Mm, so people with this full moon are, full moon are going to be stepping more into their authenticity as well. All right. Uh, where are we at time-wise? 26 minutes. Um, Let's get a few more cards, and then I'm going to take this over to the extended. Something, somebody is leaving something that was, like, long-standing in their life, like something that they're very comfortable in or that they, they're used to. Um, it could be a family, it could be a marriage, it could be a family situation, whatever it is. Um, give me a second, guys. There, that's, there's somebody, people are leaving things behind that are no longer serving them. They were meant to, you know, learn lessons in that situation, but it's no longer serving your highest good. It's no longer serving their highest good. Um, wow, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just like Taurus's reading. Taurus's reading was like about tower moments and massive up upheaval. So yeah, let's do four of these. Anything else? So we have romance in the workplace, whatever that is. What about romance in the workplace? Eternal bond, love of a lifetime. So some of you guys are going to be like, what about romance eternal? What's this mean for my collective? 
soulmate bond okay what about romance in the workplace see okay so maybe this was somebody that they worked with somebody had a yeah it was somebody that they either worked with or it was somebody that they had like money tied up with or something like it could have been somebody that they met at work because says i clarified romance in the workplace by third party involved so it says friend family other lover interfering okay tell me about romance in the workplace and third party involved we have okay stringing along and we have falling in love hmm hmm to clarify third party involved stuff yeah stuff between two what does that do with romance in the workplace no second chances they're done trying to like whatever this was that they were trying to make work it could be somebody that they had a work partnership with or that they met at work i feel like that situation is coming to an end work romance in the workplace and no second chances holding back resisting connection or they're becoming closed off to a situation yeah happy and it's leading to happy times what does this mean for my collective Past life karma, yeah. Karma, let's move to my past life karma. No contact. What's that leading to? Needs more time. They're figuring things out. They're starting to figure things out. Feeling abandoned, ghosted, unwanted. What's this mean for my collective? Thoughts of marriage. Somebody's thinking about, even if you're in no contact with you, they're thinking about marriage with you. It's like they're they're comparing. Yeah, they were they had a choice between somebody that they work with and you, is what I'm getting with. Or if you're the person, it's either. But I feel like what is what about this romance in the workplace though? How's that gonna? But it's somebody that they need to have boundaries with, or that they need to protect themselves from. It's the whoever is the person that they worked with is the person that they're going to be setting boundaries with. It doesn't even necessarily have to be. Um, guys, oh my gosh, hold on, I got a hair in my face. This drives me crazy. Um. Pride getting in the way. What about Rome? <sighs> Scared of rejection. I don't know. There was some, it, for some of you, it's not romance in the workplace, but it's like, it could be somebody that they met at work or somebody that they have a work, whatever a work partnership is. Surprising events. Can't move on. Yeah, somebody can't move on from you. It's like they're no longer interested in somebody. I don't know. Let's see. Tell me about romance in the workplace. Well, I, the grim, it says Grim Reaper. This just showed itself to me. Cutting something or someone off, clearing away the old breakup or divorce. And it says faded events. F yeah. Somebody's getting, I don't know. It's somebody that they met at work or that they were working with, like, in regards to career and finances. I don't know. Breaking point, all consuming worries, lack of sleep. What about perfect? Okay. Unhealthy choices. Careful who and what you let in. What's this have to do with this? Per what is romance in the workplace? The gr somebody, yeah, material. It could have been just materialism, possessiveness. Tell me more about romance in the workplace. Left out in the cold, scarcity mindset, ready to give up, emotional and material loss. Yeah, something's going on. Somebody's losing money, or that's what was why somebody's been worried about losing money. This is somebody that they were working with. I don't even know if it was romantic for some of you. It couldn't, it's for some of you, yeah. Slow progress will take a while, not the right time. Carelessness, yeah, whatever attitude, negligence, inattentiveness, not playing your cards right. Hmm. What is it's like you stand out from the rest. They feel like you are the one. Like they feel like you, yeah, they they feel like you they they feel like they owe you a proper offering. All right. Wanting to, yeah, they feel like yeah. Maybe for some of you, they feel like the two of you could come together. 
What is? Tell me more about romance in the workplace. What that means for my collective? Healing heart, opening your heart. Yeah, preparing for new love. Bottled up, holding back, pent up emotions, calm and collected. They feel like you're one of a kind. I don't know, guys. I feel like this. They feel like you guys can maybe like work together on. Yeah, they feel like you guys can have a very prosperous life together. Like they feel like oh, something about a work like you guys can work together. Unexpected windfalls, knowing your self-worth and value. But yeah, this person has some. Yeah, something is. Um, Somebody feels like you guys can have a lot together, but they, they, it's like, what's the problem? <laughs> what's the problem? It's like, they feel like you're going to reject. What's the problem? Why is it, if they feel that way about you? Why? Someone like chose to be alone. Somebody chose to be alone for a time being or someone is feeling lonely and abandoned, but they maybe chose that for themselves. Why? Somebody, it's like almost like maybe you guys are choosing to be single because you got fed up. What does this mean for whoever this person is? Yeah, closed off, guarded. You were sick of this person being guarded. I don't know. You and this person may come together and like work on something together, work together. I don't know. I feel like you're you're a lot different from whatever this person is used to dating as well or being with. This person just has like major insecurities, major fears of rejection. Right as I'm saying that, look what's on the back of this deck right here. Scared of rejection. Unsure of your feelings. That they've been just they've been holding back from you. They're prideful, being resistant to change. Um but this is faded. This is not something that they can, you know, avoid or, you know, they can't avoid this. 